the indigenous people of Biafra extend this message to international communities and Britain in particular, as we call on them to live up to their moral standard as a matter of urgency and importance, support Bia exit, a term we have chosen for the conduct of Biafra referendum in Nigeria. It will be morally wrong for Britain to allow its people decide through voting whether they should remain or separate from European Union while they publicly reaffirm their commitment to help keep Nigeria as one country without considering the yearnings of Nigerian citizens. Nigerian citizens should be allowed to enjoy the provision of international law that empowers a people to decide their self-determination. And indigenous people of Biafra, through the institutions of her customary government, has taken a legitimate part to guide Biafran people through this process. Britain and the Western countries should prove to the world that her government is not hypocritical with democracy by reaching out to Nigerian government and persuade them to allow Biafrans and other nationalities in Nigeria to freely exercise their right to self-determination and decide whether or not to remain as one country or go their separate ways. We hope Britain and international communities will not disappoint the world on this subject. Hello. This is BBI Channel 1. You're welcome to Biafra Discourse. I am Asuzo Chinedu Peters. The news of British exit from the EU has filtered the air, and it has been demonstrated by the British people that a people have right to self-determination, and no one under any circumstances should prevent a people from deciding what is good for them. Yesterday, majority of the British people voted to leave EU. Their reason was that they wanted their country back. They wanted to take charge of their border and control immigration. They didn't want to be dominated by Europe. They wanted to make their own laws. That is exactly the same thing the Biafran people want. That is the same thing the Biafran people are asking for. They want to control their borders so that the former enhancement will not be entering their land to kill them. They want to control their resources so that they develop their land. They do not want people to stay far away in Abuja and make laws pertaining to them. Decide how many infrastructure they will build, decide how many airports they will build, decide how many seaports they will build. The people of Biafra are asking the same question. If the British could leave EU, why can't the Biafran people? The self-determination is the right of every group of people. A similar demand by Biafran people in Nigeria have been faced with serious antagonistic approach, killing, molesting, and intimidation of the indigenous people of Biafra who seek for self-determination in Nigeria. The dramatic aspect of the entire scenario that played out in Britain just recently is the resignation of the British Prime Minister, David Cameron, who saw himself at the other side of the voting who wants the British to remain in the EU. He acknowledged and understood that he no longer represents the yearnings and aspiration of the British people, and as such, took a honorable decision to step aside and allow a more popular person or candidate to lead and steer the ship of the British people. The British people have made a very clear decision to take a different path. And as such, I think the country requires fresh leadership to take it in this direction. I will do everything I can as Prime Minister to steady the ship over the coming weeks and months. But I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. This is not a decision I've taken lightly. But I do believe it's in the national interest to have a period of stability and then the new leadership required. There is no need for a precise timetable today, but in my view, we should aim to have a new Prime Minister in place by the start of the Conservative Party conference in October. A negotiation with the European Union will need to begin under a new Prime Minister. And I think it's right that this new Prime Minister takes the decision about when to trigger Article 50 and start the formal and legal process of leaving the EU. But it amazed me that African leaders never emulate such honorable character. 
I wonder what they learned from the Western world. That is why some people will ask, are Africans caused or are Africans the cause of their problems? It has become an inbuilt feature for most African leaders to perpetually try to clinch to power, even if it means loss of lives and destruction of properties. Now the question is, is it that the Western world are not teaching African leaders or the African leaders have refused to learn from the Western people, whom they have continuously tried to copy everything they do? Fela Anipola Kokuti summarized it all when he sang, Teacher, don't teach me nonsense. Is it that the African leaders have bad teachers from the West, or is it that they simply do not want to learn the positive characters of the Western leaders? This is just one reason why the world still celebrates and honors the person of good luck, Jonathan, who demonstrated beyond every expectation of a normal character of African leader to step aside after losing a presidential election, despite having all it takes to stand down against the decision of the electoral body, INEC. I thank you all for turning out and mass for the March 28 general elections. I promise the country free and fair elections. I have kept my word. I have also expanded the space for Nigerians to participate in the democratic process. That is one legacy I would like to see and deal. As I have always affirmed, nobody's ambition is worth the blood of any Nigerian. I thank all Nigerians once again for the great opportunity I was given to lead this country and assure you that I will continue to do my best at the helm of national affairs until the end of my tenure. I have conveyed my personal best wishes to General Muhammad Buhari. May God Almighty continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank you all. Now, you can imagine in Nigeria today, in the midst of total economic breakdown, in the midst of total collapse of law and order, in the midst of anguish and suffering of the Nigerian people, death toll increasing by double quick march, none of the Nigerian leaders or rulers, if I may say, have deemed it fit and honorable to step aside and allow more competent hands to steer the shape of the Nigerian state, just like David Cameroon had just demonstrated. Oh, I remember the song by this veteran singer of blessed memory, Sonny Okosi, who sang, Which way Nigeria? Which way Nigeria? Which way to go? I love my fatherland. I want to know which way Nigeria, which way to go. This honorable man, Sonny Okosi, sang this song at the time Nigeria was still at the express road and the steering being manned by more competent and honorable men. I wonder what his song would be if he happens to be here today to witness the state of the country called Nigeria. Younger musical artists like Idris Abukarin have expressed in his own way what he felt about Nigeria some years ago when he sang, Nigeria Jaga Jaga, everything scatter scatter, bomb and they suffer suffer, puza puza, gunshot in the air. You see, this young man sang this song when Nigerians, some Nigerians, can actually afford to feed themselves twice a day. What would be his song now that an average Nigeria can hardly feed once in a day? At the time where mothers can sell their children just to afford to eat. Well, what more can I say that you have not heard? What more do you want to witness? In Nigeria to open your eyes to the reality that Nigeria has finally turned to a failed state. Nigeria had never worked. Nigeria is not working and Nigeria will never work. 
as long as the structures and the foundation that was laid by the British colonial administration is still in place. I will leave the rest for you because my eyes and my ears are not wider and clearer than yours. But as for me and my people, the Biafran people, we have taken the exit door out of Nigeria. We simply want to separate ourselves from this unholy marriage called Nigeria, this colonial contraption called Nigeria. We are simply asking for our right to decide what we want, for our right to exercise our right to self-determination. And no one, including the Nigerian government or any of its ally outside Nigeria, should prevent the indigenous people of Biafra from exercising her right to self-determination. And I use this opportunity to call out for all concerned bodies, the international community, human rights bodies, and lovers of freedom and justice, to support the indigenous people of Biafra agitation for self-determination as we apply and hinge our agitation on rule of law, the respect of both local and international law. And we admonish the Nigerian state to also respect the right of indigenous people of Biafra for self-determination. Please support our noble effort to guide Biafran people through this process legally to achieve our independence without for the loss of lives and properties. To get more video updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and don't forget to drop your comments. Follow us on all our social media platforms, just like you're seeing right there on the screen. Till I come your way next time, I still remain your humble servant. Asus Chinedu Peters, serving indigenous people of Biafra with humility and respect. Shalom. Hey, 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 hey,